Hi, how's it going? Hello everyone. Just a quick video today. This is a Hone brand stick welder and the ads proudly state that it can reach the claimed output and that the specs are accurate. It also seems to state that the settings will be accurate overall, though the ad is poorly translated, so it's hard to say for sure if that's what the claim is. Interestingly, rather than making a point that these welders are for home use, not for professionals, they actually specifically claim that this is a professional machine for industry. This is the lower output hone welder that's available, so it probably is the most likely to reach the claimed output. If you want a full review, let me know, but for today, I'm just going to do a few quick tests to see if the claims are accurate. And what are those claims? Well, this machine supposedly has 120 amps of output on 120 volts and 140 amps of output on 240 volts. Plus, it supposedly has hot start, anti-stick, and arc force. So let's find out. Right off the bat, the amperage setting still goes to 140 when running on 120 volts, despite the claimed max output of 120 amps. Fortunately, the output does hit 120 amps, but it's a shame that the display is incorrect. It does get closer to accurate at around 100 amps. I was never able to measure any hot start when running on 120 volts. It does seem to have an arc force feature, which increases the amperage as the arc length and therefore the arc voltage gets smaller. It's not adjustable, but the measurements do seem to show this behavior. In fact, it's especially obvious if I just jam the rod against the work and short it out completely. When I do this, the output jumps to 170 amps. It can do this because there's not actually a lot of wattage at that point, because the voltage will be near zero with the rod literally directly shorted. After a couple seconds with the rod shorted like this, the amperage drops to around 35 when running on 120 volts and around 50 amps when running on 240, though whichever voltage you're running on, it peaks at 170 when shorted out. I'm not sure if this amperage drop after a couple seconds is their idea of an anti-stick feature or if that's just the overload protection kicking in. The amperage will jump right back up the moment I break the short. If it is an anti-stick feature, it's not quite like others I've seen. When running on 240 volts, it does indeed max out at 140 amps as claimed. When set at 140 amps, you get roughly 140 amps out, which is good. Unfortunately, the setting is pretty inaccurate after that. For instance, when set at 105, it provides roughly 130 amps. When set at 95, it provides around 105. When set at 85, it provides around 105. When set at 75, it provides around 105. When set at 65, it provides around 105. But when set at 50 amps, it drops to around 70 amps. So the amperage setting overall is inconsistent. At most amperages, it doesn't have hot start. But strangely, once the amperage is set all the way down to 50, suddenly there does seem to be a tiny bit of hot start. It's not very much and it's brief, but it's there. So in the end, this machine can provide the max output it claims. It does have functional arc force, and depending on how you interpret the behavior that this machine has when the rod is shorted, maybe it has a sort of anti-stick function. And the specs are more realistic overall than many others as well, so definite props for that. Hopefully this heralds a trend where companies are more honest and realistic in their specs and ratings. Unfortunately, the output setting still goes to 140 when running on 120 volts, the output setting overall is inconsistent on both voltages, and the hot start function is just <laughs> ridiculously limited. The cables are also thin aluminum cables with really poor quality insulation, and the electrode holder actually broke after about two minutes of use. It also includes the sketchy 240 volt adapter style that sends 240 volts to a standard 120 volt plug. So it's still definitely a cheap, non-professional welder. It just happens to be less common than it should be, but totally not unique, in that it provides relatively accurate specs and ratings. And that's it, just a quick one today. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care.